Hi, right, I'm Evo Dan, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual arsenal and an auto rearm of players. So, first of all, I have recreated some here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it all, and I'm going to show you as we move it over and explain it. So, first of all, I'm going to throw place a player down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place down an ammo box. It doesn't matter what you want to use. I'm just going to use a supply box because it makes sense. So I'm going to open this. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type into this in it. So go to the other box. So what I've done is I've added the arsenal function through this. Okay. So I have a box in it and then this just adds the action. Also, added a bit of code so the box can't be damaged when we shoot it. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it into here. <clears throat> okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disable damage. And I'm going to disable simulation. So this ignores collisions and you can't pick them up so it'll just stay there. And then the third thing I'm going to do with this box, I'm going to just clear the inventory so there's nothing in the box at all. Yep. Then press OK. So if I then play scenario, see that, and I look at it, I'll have an arsenal with all the guns from the stock game because I'm not running any mods here. Yep. If I go a bit too far away, <clears throat> it disappears. So I say it's about 10 meters. There we go. Okay. So that's very, very simple way of adding it. This has no restrictions. You can always change the restrictions. I won't cover it here. It involves a bit of scripting, going for class names. A bit too involved for this. Okay. So we've got the complete virtual arsenal here. Uh, the alternative way is you can set up virtual products in here to virtually fill it. But that's the uh, the long-winded way of doing it if you wanted to just give them access to everything. Okay. Now, the second part of this is when your player dies and they respawn, Instead of having to go back to the arsenal every time or they, you know, they'll they respawn with a default loadout. What I've done, and you can do that, you can either have this on respawn, but you have to put it in some scripts. We're avoiding scripts in this basic tutorials. So what you can do is you can be a bit clever here. So I've got a trigger here. I'll open the trigger up. So we'll hit this. What I've done is I've set the activation to blue for as my player side is blue for. You change this to whichever side you are using. Okay. Then you don't need to do anything. Make sure it's tick repeatable. And then in the conditions we've got not player in area this trigger. Okay. So this trigger triggers if the player isn't in the area. So the on activation is player as in that's the unit we were interested in, which refers to only the local player for the client. And then mission namespace, which is a location you can save information to. Here I've called the saved inventory, which is a variable. And then you call the biz function biz save inventory. Okay. So as you walk out of the inventory, it'll save the players load it. Now, on deactivation, which is when the player walks into the trigger area, again, we've got the player, we've got the mission namespace, which is the location, we have the saved variable, and then we have biz FNC load inventory. Now, don't worry about this. I'm going to copy these conditions and bits of code into the description and tell you where you need to put them. So, this will save and load a player's inventory. 
you know, if they've joined in progress, it will still have it saved. Same mission. Which is very handy. So what I'll do is I will place this over here. And I will show you what it does. So I'm going to go to the arsenal. I'm going to load this one with the P90. Run out the area. We know it's a run over here. It'll be fine. I'll fire off the entire magazine. So as you can see, I've gone into eight magazines. Now I'm going to run back into the area. And as you can see, it's reloaded my loadout. Nice and simple. Now, if you don't want to put things on respawn in the script, because you don't want to understand how to do it yet, which is fine, there is a, here's a tip. So, here, see I've left a bit of a gap. Naturally, the player is going to be either going towards this ammo box, or let's say I put some helicopters or trucks along here for the players to use. You know, the helicopter can pick them up here. What I can do is go to the map. And then what I will do is I'll just place this down for effect. I put my respawn here. And I go respawn underscore west. Go HQ. So then, as the player respawns, They'll respawn with probably the default kit. They walk into here and it rearms them. All magic, isn't it? Of course, there's nothing to stop you from putting more than one of these anywhere. So I could put another one here. I could put another one here. I could put another one here as a bit of a rough one. So no matter which direction the players go, as you can see here, it will rearm them. Of course, you don't want to put tons of triggers down. Because that will cause frame rate issues eventually. But four triggers like this would more than cover it. Of course, you can be a bit more inventive if you want. Um, you know, it's up to you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this to multiplayer. And then I will we'll show you this with the respawn. So now I'm in multiplayer. So as you can tell, I've spawned here. I'll go to the arsenal, get my M90. I'm going to run out the area. So, I'm going to respawn. So, as you can see, I've respawned with the MX. So if I just run, say, this direction. And there you go, I've got the P90 again. See? Nice and simple. That's how you do it. Anyway. That's all for today's tutorial. What I'll do, like I say, I'll export the mission to multiplayer. I'll put the lines of code and where you need to put them in the description. And if you've got any questions, feel free to post in the comments. Um, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.